Hello and welcome back to my Tech It Let's Play. Now, as you can see, I've got a wall of gratitude. At the moment, we're going to give a special thanks to two people. First of all, Nyax. Nyax came up with the name of the company, which I'm going to stick on the front of the uh, front of the building in a minute. So we'll talk about that in a sec. And also, uh, El Viejo Jaco. I'm sorry, I don't know how to really pronounce that, but he uh, he told me and gave me a link to the texture pack, and you might be able to see. Our generator looks a bit different. I was using a old version of the Sfax um, texture pack, and there is actually one that works with TechIt, so I might put that in the comments. Uh, well, in the description. Okay, so we've got our generator up, and uh, one thing I need to do before I forget is give the building a name, and uh, we're going to call it Tekka Industries. It's short, it's simple, but it works. And I think it has a good ring to it. And I did see a creeper outside here a minute ago, so let's hope that doesn't appear. It'll appear just as I'm placing it down. Let's have a look. Okay, let's put it on. Tekka Industries. Oh no. Okay, we'll put it on two lines. Awesome. Okay, now it feels more like a proper business. We've actually got a name. So, what the next? What is the next thing that Tekka Industries is going to do? Well, we've got a generator, but we're not power anything. So, we need to build something for the generator to power. And the thing we're going to build is a macerator. So, let's see. What do we need for a macerator? Now, one thing you can do in Tekka, if you press E, you'll get up a list of all the items. Macerator. If you type that into the black box at the bottom. Uh, and you've got a decent computer, it should load up quickly. Um, mine, however, doesn't load up that fast. Okay, macerator. You click on it and make sure you're on recipe mode. To turn it onto recipe mode, I think I've told you before, but if, if you click on options, uh, this thing might be on cheat mode. I think it's defaulted on cheat mode. I'll just change it to recipe mode. Okay, so I've clicked on uh, macerator. Now, we need three flint, cobblestone, yep, that's fine. We need a machine block, I showed you how to make them last time. Uh, refined iron, we need for those. And an electronic circuit, which is made up of six copper cables, some redstone, and some refined iron. I think we'll be okay for that. So, let's see. Copper cables, we need one more. Can you remember how to make those? We need some rubber, um, and we need some redstone, so... No, we don't, we need some copper, copper bars. We got those? Yeah. So you arrange them as so. Oh, we only needed one more. There we go. So copper cables, we've got the redstone. We needed some flint. So let's see. We got some flint. Um, yep, yeah, we needed three pieces. So let's take that. Cobblestone. Yep. Yeah, okay. I think we might be all right. So the circuit is the first thing that we need to make. The best thing is you can click on it and then click on the circuit and automatically it just comes up with how to make it. So we need the redstone either side, copper cables and a piece of refined iron inside, which we have. Good. And this has worked out quite well. I've done no preparation. Um, I've literally uh, come from come from the last episode. All I did was put some things away. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Circuit. So, okay, okay, good. Now, again, I've got the worst memory in the world. Literally the worst memory. Circuit, cobblestone, machine block, and something on the uh, flint on top. Uh, you press escape to get off that, which I found out after a long time. Uh, that went there. The flint goes on top. And is it refined iron there? Of course it isn't. It's a machine block, which we haven't made. Okay, so uh, let's make the machine block. Got a lot of materials there at least. Uh, so, machine block is just refined iron in a square. Oh, it's raining. Okay, now we've got everything. The, 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 um, there we go, macerator. 
So if we stick the macerator next to our generator, it will just power it automatically. We can attach it with copper cables, but the one thing you have to watch out for is that if you use copper cables, you lose a bit of voltage every square, or it might be every three squares or something like that. So it's best to just power it straight off, just like this. So now, if we have some, uh, oh, so look, our generator's generating power because we put some coal in before, and this golden, well, yellow lightning bolt tells you that the macerator is powered. So let's go get some ore and let's macerate it. Um, okay, so where do we put that? Oh, ah, unrefined ores. Ah, we've got loads. Um, now, we can only really do one ore at a time, so let's do our copper ore. We've got lots of that. Take the copper ore. We shall stick it in macerator. And we shall wait, and it will turn that into two copper dust. Now, each copper dust can then be smelted to make a copper bar. So, we're effectively um, doubling our yield. So, that's all well and cool. But we don't have, want to have to just keep grabbing ores out of there, putting them in here, and waiting. We want things to be automatic. This is tech it. It's not some vanilla Minecraft where we're just slaving away all day doing nothing, well doing something, but you know what I mean. So we're going to create a system which does it automatically, it should extract the ores out of a chest, put them in the macerator, and then hopefully we can build an electric furnace which will uh, smelt them automatically as well. So that's our next step. Right, so what do we need? Well we need some pipes. There are two types of pipes we're going to use. The first, let's make a few, are wooden pipes. Uh, now that, do I have glass? I should have glass because I've made some windows, but I might have used it on. I have no idea where I've put it. I've got some sand in there, so I can make a bit of glass. And we, we only need a couple of blocks, so let's make some glass up. So. While that's happening, I'll tell you about the pipes. Ooh, got some bars there. So, um, the pipes are made using glass and any other material, um, which could be stone, cobblestone, wood. Now, wood, wooden pipes are extraction pipes. When powered, and I'll show you how to power the pipe, they will um, withdraw items from whatever chest or object they're attached to, and they'll start piping them through any other pipe that's attached to the wooden one, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so we've got some glass, let's make a few pipes. So to make the pipe, put the glass in the middle, surround it by whatever you need. So we've got eight wooden pipes from that. That's well more than enough for now. So we'll make some wooden ones and some cobblestone ones. Right. So we need a chest, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the unrefined ore chest and I'm gonna put that there instead because we want the unrefined ore to essentially just go in this chest and then everything else will just happen um, automatically so that's our ores in there now let's take our wooden pipe and the wooden pipe can go there now the rest of the pipes need to be cobblestone, so we'll put some cobblestone pipes leading into the top of the macerator. It's important it goes in the top. There, so once we power that pipe, the items will move from there into the macerator. Now the items that want to come out of the macerator come out of the side, just like that. So we want them to go out of the macerator and into a smelter. So we, we don't need that for now. So let's just put a pipe there, ready. Now the next question is, how do we power this bad boy? So uh, this wooden pipe can be powered by a redstone engine. Let's have a look at the schematic for that. 
The redstone engines are fairly easy to make. You do need a piston. Um, and here we are. You need a piston, you need some gears. Glass and wooden planks. So, I've got a piece of glass, I've got some wooden planks. Let's make the gear first. The wooden gear is simple. You just need four sticks. Arranged in a diamond shape. And we need two of these, don't we? So that's one wooden gear. Uh, that's not how you make it. There we go, so we've got our two wooden gears. We need the piston as well. And uh, in case you forgot what piston looks like, it's very much like this. Good. So we put the piston at the bottom, two wooden gears there, piece of glass there, wooden planks on top. And we have our very own redstone engine. Now, <laughs> the redstone engine will power the wooden pipe but to, let's call it, to turn the redstone engine on, we need a redstone torch, and that's all we need. So, we, we now have everything we need to power this. Okay. So, we'll put the redstone engine there. As you can see, it's pointing at what it's powering. This is good. And we need to put the redstone torch somewhere next to it. Now, what I might do is just go around the back and place it in that hole there. Um, so, oh, that one's a bad idea. Okay. Just to look out for creepers. Climb back in before anything bad happens. Uh, and I'll just. Oh, so. Let's do this quickly. Oops. But you can see. Look at that, it's taking our items out of our chest and putting them into our lovely macerator. Now, some bad things are going to happen now. Watch. Okay, there's no space. There's no space for the macerator to handle a different type of ore. So, we need to stop this from happening. I'm just going to get rid of this wooden pipe before we lose everything. Now, the way we overcome this, which we can't do just yet, is we use an obsidian pipe. Um, when powered, an obsidian pipe will grab any item next to it. So we'll, we'll put the obsidian pipe just behind there. And then we'll put it back in the chest. So where it was coming out, we'll get the obsidian pipe to pull it back into the chest. But of course, before we do that, we need obsidian. So the obvious next step is to create a bit of room for this obsidian pipe to go, so I'm just going to make extend this backwards, and we need to go on a bit a uh, bit of a mining mission because we need the obsidian so, um, I'm just going to extend this back, right I've just extended this area back a little bit so we've got a bit of room to put some pipes um, and now we need the obsidian really um, there are a few other machines we can make, probably with the tools that I've got at the moment, so that will be the first sort of idea, but if you're following along, it might be a good idea at this point to go and mine all the things that you couldn't mine before. So try to get some diamonds, diamond pickaxe would be nice, and obsidian would be even nicer. We won't really focus on um, setting up the obsidian just yet, but now is probably a good time to tell you that I'm going to start another video series. Basically, me and a few of my friends have started a Minecraft server, and it's a TechIt server, and uh, I've got pretty much machines just like this, uh, as well as all the other machines that are likely to appear in this series on there. So it's going to be sort of a bit of a flash forward to what we'll see uh, me making in these. And you can get an idea of the types of things that are going to happen. Um, hopefully it'll be exciting. Uh, you'll be able to see what's to come. And you'll, I mean, watch the video. Um, I'll link it at the end of this. I've not actually recorded it yet, but um, hopefully by the time that this one goes up, the other one will be up as well. Um, also, I wanted to mention about the delay. Sorry about the delay between this video and the last one. Um, as you can see, my Minecraft is very, very laggy. Basically, my laptop is falling to bits. 
it has no screen and when it, I play Minecraft it gets hotter than the surface of the sun so I'm actually gonna invest in a new computer uh, so you'll be able to see very shiny Minecraft hopefully by next episode okay so um, I'll see you in that episode but get gathering those materials and just have fun like comment subscribe favorite all that jazz and I'll see you hopefully in about a week. Bye. Pipey 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 maceration. Pipey 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 maceration. Pipey 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 maceration. Pipey 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 maceration.